Hey everyone, this is my copy of the John Singer Sergeant. Um, I'm going to be starting with these two flesh tones. Um, now these two flesh tones, I'm only going to use throughout the whole painting. I'm not going to get any more colorful than this. Um, if anything, I'm just going to get more, you know, I'm going to go darker with uh, with either burnt sienna or raw umber or ivory black. I'll be starting on a white uh, panel that I've just with myself. Uh, on this white panel, I'm gonna uh, add a wash to it, uh, just to you know fill the background with some color. I'm trying to feel the proportions here, you know, get the right size of the head. After I've done this, I'm gonna look for the broad light. Now, this broad light um, that you'll see in a second, it's the main area of light that's being hit. It's not a highlight per se, but it's the main light. So. On this main light, I'm wiping it off just to keep in mind that it's only going to be in this one spot only. Here you can see that I'm just trying to like scrub out back the white pan the white tone of the panel. Now I'm suggesting the where the eyes will be beginning basically, um, and I'm clarifying the shapes now of the shadow. You now the the clearer I can get it, the more I will know. Uh, where to put my next, you know, strokes. I I'm trying to make sure the shadows are very clear. Now I'm uh, adding the transition tone. Now this transition tone is just a mixture of the flesh tone and the shadow tone. Here you can see that uh, I use some of the some of the flesh tone into the darks just to get the transition tone. Now this is the the overall value of the whole flesh. Uh, except the broad light where you could see it where I left it. Now I'm adding the broad light. It's a very clear simple statement. Uh, what you're seeing right now is just a summary of the whole thing. I'll get into the, uh, I'll get into the more into details later on. Now this is the, the brush I will be using to blend. You can see that everything is very clearly stated. Uh, now I'm going to be blending some of it to further model the head. What it does is that it just, um, for this is the, the broken stage, for example. Um, now, after this, uh, you can see that the head's getting slightly modeled, slightly softened. And now on this stage, it's all about uh, restating this whole process again. Restating and re-blending, just further building the form. Um, one of the things that I've learned of, of Sergeant in this process is that, you know, to feel out the head, like in facets, you know, and like in like, not so much in planes, but like structure. Imagine, I I suppose he was seeing his friend, uh, his features of his friend, like a rock. You know, it just has facets, and that's the way he painted. He painted the the planes of the head. Um, uh, the way it kind of, um, you know, he, he really thought about it that it's a more sculptural uh, kind of head. And so he, he, that way, that's how he actually sculpted it in a sculptural way. Uh, and I suppose in his other finishes where he uh, brings things to like a completely high degree of blended finish. Um, in this case, he left it right before he actually, you know, sanded it down. Uh, he wanted to leave some of the roughness of the of the treatment. It's a whole different technique than his more you know softly blended techniques. Now here's a I'm getting close to a final uh, image of where I left this uh, study at, and here's the final thing. Now it's not a perfect copy. Um, it was it's just totally hard to uh, get a perfect copy without you know, pre-drawing it or working at it several days actually. Uh, I worked on it um, basically one day and and just photographing it just made it so difficult. Now here uh, you're actually seeing the closer, you know, the, the brush strokes uh, with a close-up. Um, you can see how I'm just trying to feel the anatomy of things. I'm pushing and pulling uh, you know, like where the anatomy is actually turning, the cheeks where they're turning. Um, 
it's not so much about copying at this stage. Uh, I realized that in the sergeant, he is uh, he's creating his anatomy. He's telling uh, you with the brushstroke that the that the face is turning. Uh, it's not so much that he's trying to copy a plane turning, more so than telling, more so than actually doing the you know the the turning himself. Um, I I found that this just helps so much with the drawing. Uh, this you know this sense of retelling the whole uh, anatomy through your interpretation more so than through your observation. It's inspired by the observation, but it's not uh, you know restricted to the observation. Uh, as an artist, I guess it's it's a lot like uh, like Michael like Michelangelo would do. Um, there's this uh, idealization of um, you know of what you see before you. You want to start creating it yourself. Uh, that way, you're not um, you know you're not stuck to something. Uh, here's a uh, an image of um, of the forehead. Now this is the forehead area. Uh, you know you can see that I'm trying to feel out the, uh, the just the eyebrow area, the actual bone of the person. You know, when, when you're painting, I suggest, you know, just really go after those bone structures. That's the, you know, that, that's the real thing before the wrinkles. Um, that's the thing that gets, uh, you know, the overall thing, its whole beauty. Because if, if the overall thing doesn't have its beauty, then that wrinkle, that, you know, detail, you know, won't really mean anything. Um, so, yeah, so, like, and what you see here is that... Uh, you know, I'm I'm staining things very uh, in a broken way. For example, um, you know, as clearly as I can get the planes and the brushstrokes to be, and as soon as I know I've got that, that I have enough transitions, enough planes, uh, I'm not afraid of going there with the actual um, with a brush, a, a sable brush, a soft brush, to blend it. Um, it just I I felt like it just creates more uh, further modeling. Um, like more like mini transitions, so to speak, um, and then you know those those that one touch you know brush stroke begins to read even more significantly than if all every then for example if everything were to be broken. I'm adding a little you know touches of the hair. Um, it, it was just a quick summary of the hair. I think I was just really fascinated by the more of the face, but. Um, I do. Uh, I mean, I would just encourage anybody to uh, to make studies of you know of everything, basically everything and 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 everything that you see, the hair studies, so, you know, bone studies, flesh studies, anything you can uh, uh, that will give life to your painting. Um, now, in the mouth area, I I left it a very quick summary. It wasn't the uh, a thoroughly finished. Uh, representation of the copy or in a, in a um, copy sense um, it's very broadly stated I, I, I left this for myself just to remember you know how broken it, it actually can be all right guys we're nearing the end and I want to thank you guys for uh, for stopping by and listening I will catch you guys next time find me on Facebook um, Juan Junior Ramirez